Good afternoon, everybody. So today we are doing the next episode in my ICT series, and this one today is on breaker blocks, and it's simplified. So it's everything you need to know about bullish and bearer breaker blocks so that you can start executing them within your charts. Before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind smashing the like and subscribe button, as always, it helps this channel out and helps other people like yourself view this content, right? So first of all, we're just going to cover some bullet points, and then we'll go into more detail, breaking down them uh, in charts, etc. So first, I think it's important so we can start making annotations notes for ourselves so we can carry this forward, right? So bullish, let's start with bullish, right? So we're looking for the highest up close candle in a swing high in between two swing lows, right? We must have a purge of the sell side on the second swing low. We're looking for the high to be tested, then broken through. And then once broken, wait for price to retest the swing high. The highest up close candle is the breaker. And that's where we'd be looking to take our entries to move higher, right? So the bearish is the flip of that, right? So it's the lowest down close candle in between two swing highs, right? We must have a purge of the buy side on the second swing high. And we look for the low to be tested, then broken through. And then once it's broken, wait for price to retest the swing low. And then the lowest down close candle is the breaker. And then if it's bearish, that's where we'll be taking our entries to move lower, right? So let's go through this. So this is the uh, bullish breakdown, right? So we have, we're looking for price to move higher, right? So what do we have below here? We have buy side, right? Uh, sorry, sell side liquidity. And then this is where we'll be looking to frame where our bullish breaker resides. But at this point, we're doing absolutely nothing because we're waiting for what? We're waiting for the second swing low to purge the previous buy side, right? Which it does. Price moves higher to retest that swing high before moving lower. At this instance, we'll be looking for mitigation blocks, breaker blocks, order blocks, X, Y, and Z for price to move higher. But that's not our trade, right? Our trade is looking for an entry of breaker block. So after this, we're looking for price to move higher to then retest this breaker block, okay? This would be our entry for continuation higher, right? So if we look at this low, this is where sell side resides. So this is where sell side is. Price then moves higher, and this is where we'll be looking to frame where the breaker resides, okay? So highest up close candle. So this would be a green candle, the highest up close candle in the swing high. But we don't do anything until price has come down and done a sell side purge, right? So the highest up close candle in between a swing high, in between two swing lows, but we must have a purge of the previous sell side. Price moves higher, retests the highest up close candle, or an order block or a fair value gap before moves moving lower. Now, if price doesn't break low, it falls into either another order block, a mitigation block, or something for price to move higher, a PDRA for price to move higher, okay? We are then, see, price tests, then tests the high, then falls back to an order block or fair value gap, etc. Price moves higher and breaks through this highest up close candle. This then validates this as the breaker, right? All of this action before validates this as the breaker. Price then moves higher, retests this mitigation block. And then price breaks and retests, right, as I've just mentioned. And that is your breaker block. So if you're bullish, you'll be taking entries off here to move higher, okay? So let's look at a bearish example, right? So we have the swing high form, right? And what do we have above here? We have buy side liquidity. So we're looking for price to move higher to sweep the what? The buy side liquidity, right? We're then looking for price to move lower to retest the lows before moving higher. And then breaking through, coming back and retesting the swing low before breaking lower, right? So what do we have? We have buy side above the swing high, right? And we're looking for the lowest that lowest down close candle in between two swing highs, right? So what do we have? We have buy side. Price moves down. This is where we'd be framing our breaker block. Price <coughs> then, and that's the lowest down close candle, right? So that would be a red candle in here. Price moves higher and we take a purge of the buy side. So this buy side liquidity gets purged, right? Price then moves lower, retests this low before moving higher into an order block or a fair value gap or something of that like, right? Before moving lower. And this then validates this as a breaker block once it gets retested, okay? So price breaks through, retests this swing low. And then that is your breaker block, okay? So this is where you'd be taking your entries short, okay? So let's, let's have a look at it. Let's break it down and let's see how it looks in a chart. So you can see this is a bearish breaker, right? So we have the old low. We're looking for the swing low to form, and then we could start framing this as a potential breaker, but we don't do anything until we see this old low, old high get purged, right? So you can see up here, the high is violated, and this is a sweep of this previous liquidity, right? Price then moves down, breaks through this swing low, retests it, that would be your entry to take entries short, okay? So that is a perfect bearish breaker, right? So, I just wanted to note that, and the reason why I'm doing this video as well, is that yesterday, and that is the 17th of February, we had an absolute banger of a 
bullish Baker, right and i'll put a card in this video so you can link the full es recap because i break down targets i break down mitigation blocks for entries i break down sort of algo times it breaks down this in a lot more detail and it's definitely worth your watch it, it does a hell of a lot of value in there so but just as a snapshot just so you guys can see what the breaker looks like we have a swing low right and on a bullish breaker we are looking for the highest up close candle in between two swing lows right so we have sell side residing below this swing low price moves higher we'd be framing this as a potential breaker but we don't do anything until we get a purge at the sell side we get that purge we have the retest of this high price moves back and in this instance it was a mitigation block and as i've mentioned you have to watch the video to, uh, to to get the full breakdown and then it moves higher and breaks through this breaker block right and on the retest of this breaker block that is where we would take our another entry to move higher okay so that is everything you need to know about a breaker right that is breaker 101 and so you should be able to now go into your charts and start executing when you see these setups arise so without further ado that is me for today and if you found value in this please do consider smashing like and subscribe and as always you're more than welcome to join our discord so please have a look in my socials for those links um, access is still currently open and it's still currently free of charge so anyway until next time trade safe and i'll see you on the other side take care bye